Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Fishy Angler. In one of my previous videos I mentioned uh, that I have uh, a new truck which is right here uh, and I also told you that uh, this truck comes with a tow hitch and I told you that this year I'm gonna be towing something so and in this video I'm gonna show you what it is so here it is I bought a new boat, a new bass boat. This is 1998, um, 16 feet MC160 Sea Arc bass boat. So uh, when I purchased it in January, I haven't even, I haven't go deep into this. Um, the owner was kind to actually take it on the water in January and it was like 35 or 37 degrees so we did a like quick loop uh, in a local pond there just to see how it works so engine seemed to be working but um, I didn't go into details on, on everything I just made sure you know I asked him that uh, major components are working and equipment and everything so so right now we're gonna be going over it together, um, you and me, for the first time. All right, guys, that's what we got here. So let's take a look. Uh, they both came with that Minn Kota Power Drive version one. So, yeah, I've been looking online and uh, I probably will upgrade it to a version 2 and the iPilot. I'll install the uh, iPilot head. So, but for now, that's what it is. Navigation light, socket, and navigation light is back there for the front. Um, let's see. It came with the pedal for trolling motor and it's working so that's good all right so it has four seats uh, seats already kind of weathered but uh, they will do for now so when we took it in the water, um, the battery charge voltmeter was working there, the RPM was working, but the speed, the speedometer didn't work. So, and I know why, it just picked up tube in the back, got broken off. So it also came with a Garmin 5 inch Echo Map, uh, it's, uh, it's in the house. So, it steers pretty good, it's easy to steer, so it's all lubricated and taken care of, so that's good. I'm gonna just probably put a little bit more uh, grease in here, I mean it's plenty, but I'm probably gonna I'll put a little bit of grease there on the rod. So. And that would be good. And of course, the control cable, a nice and smooth. There's no problem whatsoever. They operate easy. All right, so there's a the navigation light there. Also, fire extinguisher. So, and pretty much all this stuff is working. So let's see, let's start from the bow here and look at the compartments. So this is the battery compartment. Uh, this is for the trolling motor and stuff. So there is space for another one there as well. So that's good. Also we have this compartment and this probably would be like tackle. 
taco boxes and stuff in here. Well, there's a throwable um, cushion in there, but it all needs to be cleaned up inside. It looks like these compartments haven't seen uh, a soap for a long time. <laughs> so, but otherwise, it's good. So, moving back in here, of course, under the seats, we have a couple of. Uh, safety jackets and there is a compartment there we can use for something all right and uh, fly well with air air so owner said it, it's working that's good we're gonna check that out when we get on the water uh, there's one more compartment here yeah there's a mess needs to be cleaned up Just, we need to clean everything here oh well we'll do that so some rope cord I don't know what this is for but well, once we clean this up, we'll figure it out. All right. So inside here, the sun, the sun pump and uh, aerator pump is in there. Inside seem to be clean. Everything is good. And here we have gas tank and the starting battery. I need to take a look at this, at the pickup tube there for, for the fuel. It seemed to be leaking a bit, so maybe I would need to replace that. Yeah, it's a bit stinky in here and also need some nice cleaning here. All right. So the motor on it is 25 horsepower Mercury. Uh, this is 2003 Bigfoot. Huh. We have guests here. <laughs> so yeah, the owner and I went on the water uh, for a small, for a small trip in January. So it seemed to be working fine. It starts right up and everything. Uh, the propellers, propeller. It, it came with two propellers and they were pretty much beat up and nick, have nicks and, and even bends and stuff like that so I sent those propellers for repair and they came back so this is one of them brand new looks brand new so all right the power trim is working as well is uh, on a motor and uh, works here too all right so that's a good thing on this side we have some compartment as well also for some miscellaneous stuff yeah gotta clean up all this stuff the plug for the transom so that's pretty much it So the rod, rod holders here, and I can put it inside there. It's quite a bit of rope here. And the boat seems to be in working order, except, as I mentioned, uh, the speed speedometer pickup tube here. So as you can see, the tube broke off from from the actual pickup tube, but I already have one, so I'm gonna replace that and just will reconnect it and it should be fine so for hydraulics yeah it's it's nice and dry there is no oil drippage or anything so that's a good thing um, the all the connections uh, grease tab looks like you've been taking care of that so except I need to clean this up and and grease 
put the Swiss uh, fresh grease there. So transducer uh, for the fish finder. And that's pretty much it. So it is in a good condition. This is all welded. So, but that's what it is. It's Mac Bass 160 from Sea Arc. All right, so the trailer is easy loader uh, with rollers. As you can see there, it's in a good condition. Um, the wheel abs, greased up, and when I took it back home, when I bought it, I drove like 50 miles and uh, the hubs were cool when I got back home. So it is greasing up well, but what I've noticed, or oh, grease gasket, it looks like already weared off. So the grease start coming out on the other side. So that would be a project later to replace those seals there and uh, and just clean up the hubs because they're all rusted so that would be a project for the future so it comes with the on the trailer with those with these guides I mean it's really nice you know you see uh, where the trailer is going and stuff and also it has LED lights on it the trailer is good here and uh, well this lock had better days so that just has to come off i'm gonna replace with a smaller lock here uh, already ordered so and uh, wiring the wiring when i when i was ready to leave when i bought it it had some ground problem the lights didn't work so it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I had to take like this piece of wire here to make a new ground and then it started working so also I see this uh, this wire here is not connected as well and this is for the, for the night driving um, so this whole thing will be replaced so I already got the uh, the new plug for it and all the wires that I need. So I'm gonna I'm gonna detach here and do the waterproof connections. I will I'll solder it and do waterproof connections here. So and uh, this looks good too. I mean it's wearing off a little bit the belt, but it's a bit rusted. But overall, it's in a good condition, so that will last longer. Also, I got uh, he got me a spare tire, or you know, that will go here. I would need to put it. Looks like that's what he used for it before, I think. But I have a new setup here with a bracket to hold it down, so it will go here. And that's pretty much it guys, so this is the boat. Uh, as I said, I haven't taken out on the water yet. This is the first time I actually going over it, looking in details, but it seemed to be in a good condition. Owner said that he serviced the motor um, last November I think he said but in the fall and as you can see the engine looks pretty good this is 2003 Mercury four stroke it's in very good condition looks like Let's see how the oil looks like. Mm, yeah, oil looks clear. So yeah, that's good. 
All right, so that's good. I'm gonna be servicing it next fall when I'm gonna be winterizing it. So, but everything else looks good. Everything seems to be working except that pickup tube for the, for the speedometer, which is easy to fix and I'll do it later. So yeah, there it is. The carpet, of course, seemed to be, you know, aging, but it's still good. It looks like from the from this pattern here, I see <laughs> it was probably washing with power washer. Uh, this is pretty much the only place when you see the carpet wearing out. Sharp angle. So yeah, this is it. All right, guys, we're gonna take it on the water and test it and see how it goes. Well guys, here we are in the water. So I decided to take it on the river so we may have a better run, uh, more distance just to see, you know, uh, how the motor performs and everything. Plus uh, I want to see if this prop that is installed here is actually uh, the optimum prop, prop size and pitch because you know looking at the mercury website the prop should be a little bit bigger but uh, we'll see I'm gonna run if I'll have enough stretch I'm gonna run at what and see you know what uh, what RPM I'm gonna get in it just to see if it's uh, undersized or uh, or the pitch is not right but uh, yeah we'll see so let's get on the bigger open water and see how it goes but otherwise the motor start, started right up uh, no problems whatsoever seem to be running good so let's see all right guys here we are in an open stretch of the water so let's see how this baby goes all right here we go So 22 miles an hour and the RPM a bit higher than it's supposed to be just just over six six thousand so for this motor it's it, the the recommended is five seven five so as I expected this prop a little bit too small for this setup so it's just easy I mean it gets on the plane and everything but the RPM going a little bit higher so all right so that's good to know next time if I need to replace the prop I will go with a little bit bigger size and that's what Mercury side actually was recommending for this for this motor let's see um, how fast it's gonna go if I'll do uh, 5700 RPM on it all right, here we go.
All right, it's going like 18, 19 miles an hour uh, at 5,700 RPM. But it's okay. I mean, it will get me there, especially here. In Delaware, there's no big lakes or anything. So, I don't know. I'm not gonna be in a hurry <laughs> to cross the big open water. So anyhow, that's good. And the motor works pretty well. So let's see if our um, uh, live well is working. All right. Oh, we already have a little bit of water here uh, because the tube is out. All right. So let's see. Now we'll turn the aerator. And here we go. We got action. All right, it's pretty good. It's working. Cool. Well, also, I'm not gonna be testing the trolling motor because it actually stopped working. So, I mean, it had a little bit of an issue uh, when I was testing it with owner and even even you saw that it was working uh, when I was walking around the boat and showing it but once I unplug and plug the pedal back in this thing quit on me so I don't know it's probably some electronics in the pedal but uh, I was actually planning to upgrade this motor this is the version 1 to version 2 and then install um, iPilot head so I can actually um, use iPilot and um, the anchor anchor lock with it which which is a pretty cool feature so I'm gonna be doing it as soon as the parts come in so and I probably will make the video how I upgrade this whole thing into iPilot so we'll see but for now we're just gonna cruise and enjoy ourselves Sunshine, running beside the lion. 